So, your epic mega scan texture is looking flat. And you're wondering how you can make them pop with some depth? Well, your answer is nanite te tessellation. And if you don't know what that is or how to set it up, then you're in luck because I'm about to give you a crash course in the next three minutes. First, let's start by creating a new project. I picked a third person template. Then once it's finished, we immediately close it out. Now browse to wherever you stored your project files, go to config, then double click your default engine INI file. Then you will need to copy and paste this exactly how it is at the bottom of your rendering settings. I'll provide the exact text in the description. I deleted all the objects. Now we hop on over to Quixel Bridge and look for some high quality materials. I suggest something like a towel or a brick so you can see the effect. And as usual, your selected material will appear in the Megascan folder. Now the next part is crucial. This, ma this material will only work on nanite enabled objects. So I grab one of the cubes from the starter level and enable nanite. I drag it over to the scene and enlarge it and duplicate it for a second one. I apply the default mega scan texture to one and increase the tiling so you can see it a little better. Then we will create a second material. I labeled mine something like nanite bricks. If you look at the material we just created, the displacement node is still grayed out. So we need to scroll down and enable tessellation. Now we just drag over our, our maps and connect them. With this one, blue goes to displacement, green goes to roughness, and red to ambient inclusion. Now we just need to grab a texture coordinate and connect it like so. We can now scroll down to displacement and increase the magnitude. And there you have it. How easy was that? How to use nanite tessellation in under two minutes.